Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on the sonnets and today we've got sonnet 104, which says, to me, fair friend, you never can be old. For as you were when first your eye I eyed, such seems your beauty still. Three winters cold have from the forests shook three summers pride. Three beauteous springs to yellow autumn turned in process of the seasons have I seen. Three April perfumes in three hot Junes burned since first I saw you fresh, which yet are green. <sighs> yet doth beauty like a dial hand steal from his figure and no pace perceived. So your sweet hue, which methinks still doth stand, hath motion, and mine eye may be deceived. For fear of which, hear this, thou age unbred, ere you were born, was beauty's summer dead. So this one's kind of sweet. We've gotten away from the jealousy. We've gotten away from the sniping, all that. And, and what, what Shakespeare or the speaker is saying to the fair youth or the listener here is that you are always beautiful to me. I can't even tell that you're aging. You know, we've known each other for three years. He talks about three springs and summers and autumns and Aprils and Junes. So we're presuming they've known each other for about three years. And in that time, he's saying, you know, your face hasn't changed at all. You are still just as beautiful now as you were the moment I first saw you. Which, by the way, to put that in terms of when first your I, I, I'd, I, I, I'd, that's fun to say a million times in a row. But anyway, it, interesting, but it's an interesting end to a, to a line. But that beside the point, he's saying you are still as beautiful now as you were the moment that I saw you. You haven't aged a day. But then he stops a second and he's like, wait a second, maybe, maybe you have aged because just like time moves really slowly, a person's beauty wanes really slowly. So maybe you are starting to age, but I just can't see it. Maybe I just can't perceive it. So here in my poem, in the last two lines, he's like, here in my poem, I'm going to write this down for future generations to come. The most beautiful person that ever existed already existed and died before you were born, you future generations, you. So it's, it's kind of lovely. You know, you think of the, the older couples who've been together for 50, 60 years and they still say, you know, their partner is the most beautiful person they've ever seen, you know, now with the, the wrinkles on the face and the hunched back and all that sort of stuff, they're still absolutely beautiful. There's, there's hints of that in this, which is, which is lovely. At least I think it's lovely. Anyway, that's 104. I'll see you tomorrow for 105. Mwah.